my goodness, you want to be in the video? <laughs> Gosh. Oops, I'm recording. Here we go. All right. Oh, I think I'm we're live. Recording has come up. <laughs> How are you doing? Hey, Michelle. Hi. This is so much fun. Now, for me, right? For me right now, it's morning coffee or tea time, but now you're over in the UK, so I mean, what time is it there? It's uh, coming up to half past four in the afternoon. Ah, so dinner time. Thinking, thinking about dinner, maybe, and Yeah. what to do for the weekend, so uh, yeah, it's crazy, isn't it? It is. Technology <laughs> is awesome. It really is. Yeah. Um, but now you're too busy right now to get dinner ready because you've got a big event coming this weekend. And yeah. I'm hoping you can share with me about that today. Good? Yeah, sure. It's uh, called My Garden Right Now with a hashtag in front of it. Okay. And it's just really a, a, quite a simple project. Um, trying to get as many people as possible to post a photograph of themselves of whatever they're doing in their garden this weekend. So that can be... Saturday or Sunday, um, doing anything, a project or harvesting produce, looking at your flowers. The idea is that we're all sort of looking over each other's garden fences at one point in time. And it's the start of autumn. So we, we had one at the start and we had one at the start of spring. And it's been kind of interesting to see how things have changed and what and the different things that people are doing at different times of the year. I love it. I am not ready for autumn yet. Are oh, you? No, 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 nor am I. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> We've still got sunny days here and it's fairly warm. But last night I left the door open and to, to my patio and I came downstairs about half past 11 and it was freezing. Uh, it sounds like you're having the same weather I am here in the Midwest in the United States. Yeah. I'm, in I'm in Ohio yeah. and uh, it just got cold all of a sudden overnight. So hey, I want to um, let people know who you are. Me and you actually met at the Garden Blogger Fling this year, which was amazing. We were in the United States down in Washington, D.C. And you... Together. <laughs> <laughs> right and you are a fellow gardener right and yeah. can you tell me a little bit about your blog and what you do there right. Michelle okay so my blog's called veg potting but it's not just about growing vegetables which was the original intention I just found that I just wanted to talk about gardening in general and in November I'm going to have the blog is going to have its 10th birthday so I've been doing it for quite a while <laughs> That's awesome. Over, over 2,000 posts. And people from sort of like beginner gardeners right through to sort of experts seem to like the blog and read it and comment. So um, I like to do some community kind of things um, uh, as well. And my garden right now is, is one of those things because... I just like the way that the internet connects us all. Like you and I are talking now, yet we're thousands of miles apart. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> yeah. so, so my garden right now is another feature of that kind of thing as well. And anybody can take part. Mm -hmm. uh, so You don't have to have a blog. If you're on social media, then you know, there's, there's Facebook, there's Twitter, there's Instagram. And, and some people have chosen to do YouTube videos as well. In fact, I had one person in March. It was the first time that she did a YouTube video. So people have also chosen <laughs> it to, to challenge themselves and to do something a bit different as well. I can, love it. Can you, can you sum up your garden in one photograph? <laughs> That's the challenge. <laughs> no. <laughs> I mean, that was one of the questions I had from people. They said, well, you know, I've got a garden and I've got an allotment, which you know as victory gardens. Yeah. Um, they said, well, you know, I, can, can I take a picture of both? And I said, well, yes. I mean, although I'm saying one picture, to try and make it as easy as, as, as much as I can for everybody to take part and make it inclusive, 
you can choose whatever way you want to respond. If you want to produce more than one photograph, then then please do. Let's have a right. look at everything. Right. <laughs> so we can have a picture of you in your dome. Yes. Oh, hello, Kitty. <laughs> he came to join me. <laughs> yeah, well, pets are allowed in the photographs as well, you know. Definitely. If you're having fun in your garden with your kids, pets, partner, yeah. whoever, it, you know, it, if you're having a family barbecue, I mean, that would be a wonderful thing to record. Um, I think oh, this, yeah. this weekend we're probably going to have a lot of people harvest produce. Yes. Uh. And always keep an eye out for what are the most popular, what's the most popular flower and vegetable that people uh, are, are posting. So in March it was crocuses and sowing seeds. Right. Um, in the summer we had lots of roses, mm -hmm. of course. England <laughs> and yeah. and stra the first strawberries of the year mm. so what are we going to get for September it's going to be interesting I have a little of both still in my dome actually yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I like I like how you said people can um they're encouraged to share with the video and uh, yeah. there's so many creative ways that you can share what's happening in your world today really i mean even there's apps for your phone where you can do gifts you know yeah. like an animated yeah. image oh, that would be fun we haven't had it? Yet, so yeah. that's great <laughs> and I, I love the way that, it, that people choose to respond i mean the variety of responses even if you just even if it's just a photograph yeah the variety of responses you know we've had people in community gardens for example and the projects that they're doing and, and people making things out of pallets and all kinds of bits of scraps of and put up an that. arch to grow things over. Um, the variety of response is just amazing. That's why I think it's, it's good to try and keep it simple. And it's up to, to you in the way that you wish to respond to it. I love it. Yeah, <laughs> this is going to be fun. So, I mean, you have a lot to do on your end because you're you're heading up this event. Yeah, because I I try and actually respond to everyone who who takes part over the weekend, and it, it, it may be delayed a little bit tomorrow. That's the Saturday because um, I'm out for quite a bit during the day, but I, my husband's away for the weekend. So I'm expecting to be on the computer all of tomorrow night, <laughs> going through Twitter, going through Instagram, <laughs> finding the stuff on Facebook, YouTube or wherever. So that, it. so that you know, everybody gets a response and I can pr promote what people do as much as possible as well, because that, that is the great thing it's all about us having getting together over a common theme and sharing so Definitely. That's what I'm intending to do and I have to say some of, some of my regular people have been really good at going around and, and looking at what everybody else is doing as well oh yeah well you can learn so much even um I'll tell you some of my favorite posts are from the allotments over across the pond where you are yeah. <laughs> I learn so much from you all I really do yeah. and so what a great resource so once again that hashtag is my garden right now perfect <laughs> and then so the main place where people can find out about the information will be on your blog correct that's right yes Blog post is going up tomorrow morning, 7.30 a.m. my time. <laughs> uh, are you five hours? Different? Yes, I'm behind you. So Yeah, so yeah. you'll still be in bed asleep when it goes yes. up. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> Especially with this cool, cool weather. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, um, be there ready and waiting for people in the morning and then then we can have a really good Saturday together and actually it's going to work to your advantage that I'll be back and about lunchtime your time so I'll be picking up everything that's coming in from the states <laughs> very cool as it happens. yeah Great. so I'm excited to share that with everybody on my networks as well and then um so I want to ask you too because this is really exciting how so you've got 
you know, a group in the United States and of course, uh, Europe, uh, UK, yeah. do you, what's your outreach? Do you have more like other countries or anything like that? Well, it was, it was really interesting to see how it took off in March. And okay. It's new. That took part. So we had Ireland, Canada, States, Australia, quite a few European countries. And it was really interesting because a lot of people in the States and in Northern Europe, in sort of Scandinavia, they were posting pictures of snow. <laughs> I love it! March. <laughs> so you have like footprints in the snow and that kind of thing. Obviously, we're yeah. not going to this time. Um, it will be interesting to see those sort of like subtle differences. And of course, down under, their seasons are completely topsy-turvy. I was seeing sort of like harvest produce from Australia in March. Now, of course, we'll hopefully we'll be seeing the first signs of spring if anybody decides to join in. I mean, I've got some pretty good people who sort of make sure that, um, you know, they tweet on Twitter. So it sort of does get around everybody. And some people do the similar sort of thing on Instagram as well. Okay. So. Very cool. Per sort of a tally of which countries have actually taken part. So we can, you know, it's, it's a really sort of global event. I love it. This is so exciting. It really yeah. is. Um, yeah. <laughs> very cool. So, so people can join in basically pretty much on all the networks. I mean, what are the, the prime ones that you follow for the hashtag? Right. Well, the main ones that have happened is uh, Twitter and Instagram. Um, it's just, I think people now are used to sort of just, you know, it's a really, because it's such a simple thing, it sort of fits those quite easily. If people have got a blog, I said, I'm getting around about 30 or 40 people writing a blog post. And on, on my blog, I actually put a link in so that people can put their uh, blog post URLs in there. Nice. Um, and then, you know, it makes it very easy for people to go around and visit. Okay. Um, but I, I'd say Instagram and Twitter are probably the main things. Facebook, there has been some really good posts on Facebook, but they can be harder to find. Yes. Do you find that? I mean, yeah, I, I think because the platform, you really have to know how, how to use it today. They change so much. Um, the big thing with that, I'll just give a Facebook uh, tip here because this is a pet peeve of mine. You know, um, when you post your image, you have to make sure that it's on your page that is open. Like it's got to be public. Yeah. If it's a private yeah. link, only your friends are going to see it, which that's cool too, but we won't be able to see when you add that hashtag Absolutely. into the comments. It's got to yeah. have the globe, globe. It's got to be public. So that, um, that's I'll help really, watch too. That's a really good point, actually. Mm -hmm. So, um, I mean, I, I try and gather in as many of those as I possibly can. It's hard. Um, and, and my stuff is public too, so, that, you know, I'll... I'm putting up a post on Facebook tonight. Um, this Instagram will be going up tonight as well. Yeah. Um, so people should be able to find it, hopefully. Definitely. <laughs> oh, totally. Yeah. I'm excited. And what, what I found actually um, after the, the one that, we, that I ran in June is actually people have carried on with the hashtag both on Twitter and Instagram. So it's beginning to get a life of its own outside nice. of people these weekends which is which I love yeah but I also love the fact that we're people have liked the fact that they felt that we're all sort of coming together this weekend yeah at, at, at what everybody's doing I love it this is fun yeah, very exciting yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well I I know you got to get to work you've got a lot to do and yeah. I'm excited to share this with everyone and, well, thank uh, you so much for doing that, Bren. Yeah. It's, it's wonderful that we've made this connection. I know. <laughs> thank something you for me. <laughs> I, I, hope, I hope we could do this again. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it's, uh, once, about, not, once we've uh, sort of done it so once, it makes it so much easier. Than ah, it. totally. Yeah. Yeah, totally. So, so thanks for leading me into a new direction. With, with so definitely, much. definitely. <laughs>
I love it. Yeah, me too. Okay.